What's up, longevity lovers? I'm Christian, and this is Longevity Power. You know, for years, I have asked, and my friends have asked me, if you were stranded on an island and could only have three things, what would they be? And I have had a lot of answers to this question that have changed over the years, and I've heard some crazy answers. Uh, one answer I actually used to love, like 10 years ago, it was like my favorite answer, and it was bee pollen. Well, I can tell you that I would personally be dry heaving and be completely sick of bee pollen after one day if I had to survive on it, even though it is technically one of the most nutritious plant-based substances out there. So um, after many years, I would like to say what my top three answers are, uh, plus some runners up. Number one. I'm stranded on an island, an isolated island, and we're assuming that it's not an ice island, it's probably more like a tropical island, a small island with no springs on it. Number one answer is spring water, absolutely. Low mineral, low hardness, perfectly sweet and soft spring water. I mean, that's going to allow me to survive and thrive immediately and in the long term. It's kind of a no-brainer. Okay, second answer is meat cuts high in fat. What? My answer used to be like, okay, I would have like avocados and coconuts, unless there's coconuts on the island. I'd have like all these plant-based things, but actually I love high fat meat cuts. Uh, and if it was one thing, it would be ideally, uh, you know, a freezer uh, a container of all kinds of animals. Uh, meat cuts that were approximately two-thirds fat-based and one-third lean. And also ideally there would be like organ meats and collagen material and bones and stuff like that too. Uh, but as an approximate answer, high-fat meat cuts obviously from wild and organic, truly pastured, truly grass-fed animals. And I feel that that is like the deep personal favorite caloric nutrient dense food and also probably the most biologically appropriate food for pretty much all of humanity. This would allow me to be really satiated, to have energy, to do what I need to do and um, I wouldn't really, I personally don't get most of my calories from any other source except um, fat rich animal products these days. So water and animal products that is going to let me last a long time. Answer number three is longevity in a bottle. Yep, that is my flagship product. It's 40 tonic herbal extracts in one. This would allow me to get my plant-based medicine to the max uh, in one form, right? I can only take one more thing. It's definitely gonna be my longevity in a bottle superfood tonic herbal extract blend of bliss. And it's all about peak uh, physical and mental performance, immune system strength, uh, endurance, libido, hormone balancing, cellular repair, uh, vitality to all the organs. Uh, each herb is extracted to specific uh, standards and so we're making sure these human active marker compounds are in it that are gonna have a desired adaptogenic effect. If I just got shipwrecked and I need a lot of repair and also I wanna be able to like live on the island and exercise, longevity in a bottle is gonna take me really, really far and uh, is the perfect uh, phyto and micronutrient dense uh, ally to my zoo nutrient dense uh, animal, zoo meaning animal, uh, second option. So I got spring water, lots of animal products, and lots of herbs. This is the ultimate uh, kind of islander, paleo, I don't like to label things, but paleo style uh, living. And uh, I'd be pretty set. Now, we also have to assume that I'm going to be able to get some like green leafy vegetables that I could uh, eat uh, you know, with my meat just to have a little uh, fiber and prebiotic. I would also love to uh, ferment those hopefully amazing wild crafted green leafy vegetables that I could find into like some sauerkraut. And if it was a tropical island, ideally coconut water kefir, uh, maybe not so much a kefir starter, uh, but a wild ferment of some kind would probably work uh, quite perfectly. And since it's an island, I'm going to be able to uh, solar uh, dehydrate ocean water into sea salt. 
Uh, now, if you have plenty of meat, um, I personally have found that my salt requirements have gone down. However, I still consume a lot of uh, herbs and plant-based foods, including herbs, are in general, most of the time they are potassium dominant foods. Uh, meat is more of a sodium dominant. And the potassium sodium uh, thing is kind of, an, it's an electrolytic um, balance <laughs> in your body. So you have potassium salts and sodium salts. And usually if you're on a standard American diet, you're just bombarded with overly salted everything. This is why the low sodium diet works, is because most people who go on a low sodium diet are on a medium sodium diet. They don't know that most of the food they're consuming has all this extra sodium snuck into it. The low sodium diet really doesn't work, especially if, let's say, uh, most of us, when we get into uh, more organic health food, we kind of like yo-yo to a lot of plant foods, juice cleansing, more vegan, plant strong kind of foods, and nothing is salted. And so then we are having all these potassium salts from all the vegetables and fruits and other things that we might have, might be eating or might have eaten. I've certainly done that yo-yo. And uh, suddenly we need a lot of sea salt. And the sea salt is going to not only make our energy levels and our hydration superb, but it's also going to feed our adrenals. So I got it pretty well made on this uh, hypothetical island. I, will, I want to know what uh, some of the things you'd want to have for your personal health regimen for the short and long term, because you don't know how long you're going to be on this, let's say, tropical island. Also, we're assuming it's tropical, and so I'm not going to need uh, an immediate supply of clothing, shelter, and wood for burning uh, for fire. If it was uh, an ice island, I might put some of those in my top three instead, maybe. We'll see. I would love to have a top maybe six if, if that were the case. So, subscribe to learn more. My name is Christian, and I'll see you tomorrow.